Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Josh Windish here for Before You Buy on Twit, and today I've got the Samsung LTE Mobile Hotspot Pro from T-Mobile. It's selling for $168 on T-Mobile's website, but they also give you the option to pay it off over 24 months. Uh, they have plans ranging all the way down from 500 megs of data for 20 bucks a month to 10 and a half gigs for $70 a month. The, uh, the hotspot can actually connect up to 10 devices over Wi-Fi, and it can be tethered via USB to your computer. Now, if you take a look at the screen on this hotspot, it's actually a pretty big screen. Uh, unfortunately, though, you can't really do anything with it. You can only look at information. It's not a touch screen. So the only way you can actually configure any of your settings is by logging into the web portal. And that web portal, very slow and sluggish to use. That's where you configure your security settings. They offer WPA2 for your password. And they also have, unfortunately, uh, WPS, which is the, the dreaded wireless protected setup system that you find on a lot of routers today. Very broken system. But they actually put a button for WPS right next to the power button on the hotspot. So I can't tell you how many times I just wanted to you know, wake the device up or shut it down. And I initiated the whole startup process for WPS, which is very annoying. I like the design of the hotspot. Uh, it is really easy to get fingerprints on, though, and pretty easy to scratch, so be careful of that. But I think the best part of the design of this is this red stripe around the side here. It's not just a red stripe. This is actually a USB to micro USB cable that you can use to charge the hotspot itself. They do include uh, a, an actual power adapter as well, but you could use this on the go. And it also can charge other devices from the hotspot. So it actually can work as an external battery that you can take with you. Speaking of the battery, that's another uh, big win with this hotspot. It's got a 3100 milliamp hour battery in it, which is enough to get I got 9 to 10 hours of continuous usage, and you could easily get by for a couple of days before charging it with normal use. The speeds are also very good. I regularly got 15 to 20 megabits per second down and 3 to 5 megabits per second up. And I was able to get USB tethering to work. However, Samsung's drivers crashed my Mac when I installed them. I was able to get it to work successfully several times after that crash. But if you're on a Mac and you plan on using USB tethering, you might run into that bug. It also can connect to your computer to be used as external storage, and that can go up to 64 gigs with a micro SD card. So on to the pros and cons for this hotspot. On the pro side, the battery life is excellent. It also can be used to charge other devices, and it's got good speeds and a reliable connection. The cons, no way of configuring or changing any of your settings on the hotspot itself. You have to use the web portal, which is very slow, and Samsung's drivers for USB tethering crashed my Mac. So buy, try, or don't buy on the hotspot from Samsung. I'm going to give it a buy because in the areas where it really counts, it succeeds. It's got great battery life. The speeds are good. The only word of caution in this, this may not even need to be said, make sure you've got coverage with T-Mobile where you're at because that can certainly vary from location to location. Uh, but as far as hotspots go, if you need one and you're a T-Mobile subscriber, definitely a buy. For Before You Buy on Twit, I'm Josh Windish.